This week, my wife has big plans. And when I say big, I mean absolutely massive. As she's getting ready to design and build her biggest piece of custom furniture ever. How are we gonna get this thing inside? Over the years, Andrea has designed and built some incredible pieces of furniture, but this one is going to dwarf anything she's ever done before. So join us for the adventures of my DIY wife as we show you all of the ups and downs it won't start as she attempts her most industrious custom furniture build to date before we get started we want to say thanks to scentbird for sponsoring today's video scentbird is a fragrance subscription service with a mission to empower each and every person to express themselves through scent it's a single fragrance destination where you can discover explore learn about and experience new scents just for you for 17 dollars a month you get to choose a new designer fragrance to try every month and since you get to pick what you want there aren't any surprises i am really picky when it comes to perfumes and fragrances and so the idea of a monthly subscription where i get to try several different kinds for a low cost really appeals to me. On Scentbird's website, you can actually take a quiz to help narrow down what scents are right for you. My personal favorite scent notes are spicy and citrusy, and I'm not a big fan of really strong floral scents. I got to try three new scents last month, and this first one is Oso Ver Sintra, and to me it has a really nice kind of musky floral scent that is a little bit strong when I put it on, but I did like it more as it wore down a little bit. This next one is Ormond Jane Woman, and while I did like it, it was a little bit too florally for my personal taste and so I won't be wearing this one very often. This last one, Sense of Wood, Plum, and Cognac, is definitely my favorite. It has a really good, just kind of sweet, spicy mix, which I really like, and I look forward to wearing this one. Be sure to use my code DIYY55 to get 55% off your first month, making it just a little bit over $7 for your first month. Now let's jump into today's project. Okay, today we are going to be starting a brand new furniture build. This is our dining room, as you can see, and I have been dreaming for years of what exactly I want to do with this space. And while I love this massive piece of artwork, I've always just felt like there's something else I want to do there. And lately I have really been dreaming of having more storage. So we finally landed on a design and we are going to be building a massive cabinet for this wall. But since we just built a cabinet, I wanted to do something different. And so it is going to have sliding doors and I'm really excited because this is just a whole new territory for me. I have never built this. And so I thought, you know, first time, let's build a really big version of it and just go all out. So I'm excited. I feel like the design finally clicked. It's like, I can see it. It's gonna look awesome. And I'm sure to get started now. <laughs> is this gonna be a big job or an absolutely uh, massive job? It's gonna be a really big job. All right, so since I've already nailed down my design, really now I just need to figure out how big I wanna build this. So step one, we're gonna pull this artwork down and then tape off on the wall to try and get that nailed down. So after getting a general measurement of the cabinet taped up on the wall, we ran into our first problem. So seven feet, how big is the doorway? Oh, <laughs> no way. why are doors not, why did I have in my head that doors are seven feet tall? What are we looking at up there? About five inches too short. <laughs> How are we going to get this thing inside? Is there a front door that same height? Oh, darn it. What's the front door height? They're all 80 inches. That's like a Man, I wanted to be 7 feet tall. That's so sad. This is not fitting my design. Is there any way to get creative and make this thing fit <laughs> inside? It comes from here. I could build it in two pieces, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm going to tape it out at six and a half feet and see if that just looks silly. If it does, then we know we have to make it taller and then the only other option is to build it in two pieces. How are we feeling about it? it looks so small. <laughs> There's like no other way we can get that inside, right? Other than like cutting our doors open, which we're not, we just did that. <laughs> While I kept trying to figure out the height of this piece, I decided to move on and get a good visual on the depth. So the chair just gives us a good visual on how far it's gonna come out. I'm thinking about 16 inches. I just want it deep enough to hold dishes, but I don't want it so deep that it starts making this walkway feel too small. I'm still stuck on the size, but I think I wanna make it even bigger. Even bigger? <laughs> I might go 10 feet wide. Holy mackerel. And then that's five feet on each half, so we'll do two five foot cabinets. 
Well, that's absolutely massive. But I like that. That's cool. <laughs> We're gonna have to have that in two parts just so we can carry it. Is that too big? I don't know, I kinda like it. All right, what are we thinking? I actually really like that. That looks like my picture, doesn't it? To me, that feels like the right proportions and scale. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tape like where my sliding doors will go. So just the line down the middle, and I might kind of tape out my shelves too. Why don't you just tape it all? I'm just gonna tape it all. We gotta know what cut, how much wood to buy. All right, what are you doing now? I'm trying to figure out how many shelves. Interesting. I'm like, how much do I have in between my shelves? <laughs> just under 17 inches and that's a big gap. I don't want them like too close to where it ends up just feeling like too cluttered. I feel like it's a really fine balance of getting all these parts right. <laughs> For the rest of the year we're going to be building this cabinet. <laughs> I already got the hardware because I've been planning this and it came really fast. But it's this cool like inset hardware since there'll be sliding doors. It'll go on each of the doors. You know, then you grab it and just pull it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Looks good. All right, so next step is figuring out what kind of wood and then stain samples. So I have some red oak and pine with some samples on them. I'm going to get them over there and just get a good look, take a step back and try and figure out what kind of wood and what kind of stain we want to use for this. Okay, so I really like the color of this stain and I have it on red oak and pine since those are what we can get easily here. I really don't feel good about building it out of pine just because it is such a big piece and there's gonna be such big doors that I worry about pine warping or just not being as strong because it's a softer wood. I think I'm gonna go with oak and experiment more with the stains just to try and reduce the striped look. All right, well, while Andrea is doing some complex mathematics, I have the very complicated job of getting the van ready to pick up materials. While this doesn't require a lot of brain power, it does require a lot of muscle. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna need the help of an engineer to get this done. Hey. Maybe I am an engineer. Sometimes you find limes in your minivan, you know, they just didn't make it from the grocery store into the kitchen. Dolly ho! I am getting too good at this. I mean, you could do van life in this space, but it would be called minivan life. Oh. Hashtag minivan life. Once Andrea had her list ready and I had the van all cleared out, we headed to the local hardware store to pick up materials. How do you like what I've done with the place? It's very open concept, I like it. I like that I didn't do it. You're welcome. <laughs> you, no. No. I list. You. We were doing all the good stuff before we left. Could you go, um, can you go measure? Measure it. Oh wait, no, 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 I wasn't ready yet. You gotta start all over. It's your fault. You'll have to catch the goon stuff in the outtakes. Uh. And we're back. And after getting behind, it's hard not to feel like you're in a rush. Drive faster, faster. Driving as fast as I can. Red light. Turn green, now. We have the list, the list. We've made it. If I go really fast, can we go get coffee? Yes. I like it. We're family. As I started sifting through all the boards and saw the current prices, I realized this was going to be quite an expensive project. <laughs> $63 for a 1x6. This is going to be really expensive. That's crazy. But cheaper than if we bought it, yeah? Yeah. Don't you need to see if it's straight? Give it a look. Yes. I grabbed a new set of router bits because I have a few ideas for adding some interesting details to this piece. <laughs> oh, I'm 
back to pushing. She's back to shopping. As we got our last pieces of wood, we went ahead and checked out and then checked out the damage we'd done. All right, minivan, don't fail us now. Okay. A whole piece of plywood in the back of the van. Boom. Now let's shut that door. Bye, Lowe's. All right, so we got almost everything on the list. They were short on the one by threes. I needed like 13 of them, and I think I got six or seven. So we'll have to make another trip, but I have enough to get started so we can get started next time. And I pretty much always figure out that I need a couple more boards. This is my last board. I'm like really short. How did that happen? I figure we'll just get the, uh, the other boards whenever we get those. And they didn't have the panel, the panel that I want to use for the back. I want to get the panel that looks like shiplap because it's going to be painted anyway. So we can go ahead and get started. Oh, I thought you were going to hit the wheelbarrow, but you I stopped just in time. Nice work. Yes, let's do this. All right, time for the beefy boys. Success. After unloading the materials, we went ahead and put the van back together so it would be ready to pick up the kids. Isn't it so nice to be able to walk in here? Yes. It looks a little different than it did before. Is it time to get to work now? It's time to get to work. Hey, how's that toe, by the way? It's better. It's just, it doesn't seem like it's wanting to heal all the way. I can wear tennis shoes. That's about it. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're making progress. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hurt, like, just walking around. I don't know if I could run very well. Why don't you try it? Just go ahead. No. Cut, just no, I'm not going to. Right. Okay, before I actually start making cuts, I'm realizing I need to go think through something and figure it out real quick. Okay, so I knew something wasn't quite making sense and I figured out what it is and what I need to change. I'm gonna go show you on our cabinet just to try and make a little more sense. <laughs> okay, so this cabinet has what you call a face frame and that's the one by two that goes around the outside of the door. For the new cabinet, I'm not going to be ca doing cabinet doors on hinges. I'm going to be doing sliding doors, which means that the doors need to be able to like fit behind each other. So. My thickness for my doors is not going to be just one door thick, it'll be two doors thick. Which means if I added a frame, which is this part, then my frame would not be thick enough unless I did like a, you know, I, I, nobody here has like a two by two, anything thick enough for that. Uh-huh, yeah. And so I can't, I need to do a frameless cabinet, which is basically usually like just a plywood box with no face frame on the front. But that's not what I plan to do. And so now Cause I, I need to have, have enough have... space like to, make my little tracks for my door, my, both of my doors, doors to go both in. gonna be the thickness of the face frame. We're just changing. This actually makes it a lot more simple. This is why we don't share plans, is because usually I'm planning right before I make cuts, and then I just make sure, does this all make sense? Do I know what I'm doing? And it's all up in here. But this time I said, it doesn't make sense. I need to go sit back down. I'm doing something new. Okay, so that's it. I think I've got it figured out. Where'd you go? <laughs> Dean! Hey! We gotta go get more supplies. You done? I'm done. Let's do it. Okay, so because I changed up our plans a little bit, and also because we hadn't gotten everything we needed yet last time, we need to make another trip to the hardware store. Let's do it. And this is where a monkey wrench really got thrown into our plans. Uh, what is that all about? <laughs> We just got our van back and it won't start. All right, well, I guess we try and jump it. That's about all we can do, right? Yeah, hopefully it's just the battery. All right, so since the car is dead, we're actually gonna have to just put it in neutral and roll it back to get by my car so we can put the cables on. This is getting more complicated. Too far? Perfect. Don't be checking out my glutes. Now, you've probably already guessed that I'm an incredible car mechanic because I'm just so mechanically inclined. But you know what? 
I can jump a car. That I am capable of. Step one, place red on weak battery. Step two, place the other red on the booster battery. Actual step two, place black on the booster battery. Where's the black? Step three, now place this red on the booster battery. Hey Siri, where is the ground on a Honda Civic minivan? <laughs> Step five, we wait. Now, I, I know I'll probably get torn apart by you real mechanics out there. I'm doing my best here, but I've never claimed to be a mechanic. I'm just trying to jump it so we can get it to the mechanic. And that's about the extent of my skills as a automotive repairman. All right, here we go. Moment Let's of truth. Hope for the best. Yes! I'm a legend! All right, let's take it straight to the mechanic shop, yeah? We DIY a lot of things. We don't DIY car <laughs> stuff. Man, we were all set to go. And by the way, I left my number on the receipt. Call me, maybe? Okay, so I just called the auto shop. They're short staff. They can't look at it for another almost hour and a half which is exactly when we pick up our kids. This day is just not going according to plan. Let's just go drop it off so you don't have to jump it later. Okay. Take care of her boys. So our minivan saga continues. Oh my gosh. Here's the story. We love our minivan and you guys have seen that. They're gonna be like, you wanna put this in a minivan? And we'll be like, that's right. 100% chance we're fitting all the wood in this minivan. Living the dream. Living that minivan life. But just over a year ago, we actually got hit by someone. They were at fault. Insurance took it in. And we got it fixed. And we got our first rental van, which you saw in some of our videos. And then after several months, we finally got our van back. And then the doors started not working again. So then we had to take it back in. It was several more months and we got another rental van, which you've seen in our videos. So then we literally just got our van back last week, a few days ago, and the back door is not closing properly. There's an error message on the dash. The battery seems to be dead. So we're just like, man, it just keeps going and going. That does mean we have to change our plans again because we can't fit wood in this car. It's not as big as the minivan. So we can't go to the home improvement store. And now we only have about 45 minutes before we have to get our kids. So what's plan B? We're gonna get coffee. So we're close to downtown Bryan. You've seen us do a video about this cool spot. So we're just gonna go, you know what? We're gonna grab some coffee. We're gonna slow down, enjoy some time together and then eventually go pick up our kids. <laughs> Drink, madam. Yes. Sipping on a cup of joe, walking downtown with my <laughs> babe. <laughs> you look cute today. <laughs> Thanks, it's because I haven't gotten all sweaty yet. Well, great job so far on this <laughs> cabinet build. Things did not exactly go according to plan, but you know what? We are making progress on this thing, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm having to let go a little bit of the side of me that really loves efficiency and maximum productivity because sometimes life happens and yes, you know, it does. the car doesn't start. We just got our van back and it won't start. When that happens, when life gives you lemons, you go get coffee. Hey, hey. Yeah, at the start of one of these projects, I'm always reminded how there is literally a thousand and one steps and you love to see it all come together in one tidy, neat, quick video, but it's just not reality. This is a multi-week process and keep in mind that vision because we are going somewhere. Y'all remember the last piece she made? We're going somewhere with this one and it's really, really exciting. Something that I feel like can often be overlooked in accounting for how long a project takes is the planning part of it yeah. because even even with a piece of furniture, I'm like really trying to think of what's gonna fit best in the space. Do I want glass on the sides? Do I want panels on the sides? How big should I make it? How tall should I make it? 
But hopefully we helped you get inside of Andrea's head a little bit more with that animation. What do you that think? Was cool. We're trying out some new things here. So that's all for this week's episode, but continue on the journey with us because there are some very exciting things coming up with this build. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss it because it stays spicy the whole time. <laughs> like we're actually gonna start building, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch you in the next episode. And be sure to use my code DIYY55 for 55% off your first month of Simpered. Do you need some extra power? Oh, I was like, what are you gonna do? Did that help anything or are you feeling? No, oh, you made me laugh, that's good. Is this helping anything or? <laughs> Cause you can like comfortably, you know, you could comfortably sleep too in here, I would guess. You probably wanna move these old socks out so you don't have to smell them. What is that? Now, this here is a moment only a parent of young crazy kids could understand. They've taken the little dish soap tablets and just for the fun of it, squeezed them out onto the driveway. You know, it's just, it has a measure of satisfaction, I guess, to it, you know? But uh, somebody's gonna be cleaning that up when they get home from school, <laughs> hey. That's not good. Well, by some miracle, this camera is still working. It's actually the second time we've dropped it to the deck. But hey, that's just kind of what we do. We're rough and tumble, and sometimes the camera just, yeah, it takes the brunt of it. Make a serious face. Can you please do it? <laughs> no, I can't. Go get me coffee. Okay, do you need me to do this for you? That's exactly why I wouldn't do it, is you look so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your most flattering angle. Okay, can you give me your best concentrating face? <laughs> you got boogers in your nose. I'm gonna film it and put it on the internet. Can you go measure <laughs> for that? Okay, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is measuring how tall I Oh wait, no, 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 I wasn't ready yet. You gotta start all over. <laughs> Come all the way back over here. Okay. Come back over here. <laughs> oh, the lighting the is bad. <laughs> the lighting is bad. Come back. <laughs> Well, behind the scenes <laughs> and what it's like to film. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is measuring how high I want it. I, I feel like you're making fun of me. Stop talking like that. Okay, let's go. I actually want it to go like 12 feet high, but the ceiling's <laughs> only eight foot, so that's unfortunate. I'm probably just gonna tear out part of the upstairs <laughs> just so I can make it go taller. Um, I'm also thinking about building the third story onto our house this year. That's gonna be a great project, so be looking for that, okay, coming up. Let's get a close up of this face. I'll show you what how to act. You ready? Oh, I wasn't actually recording. Are you here. serious? I'm just kidding. You're such a gooner booner. Next, I've got like 37 stain samples. I'm only showing you four on camera, but I actually have like 97. <laughs> this wood's kind of soft. It's kind of weak. I don't know if it's going to be able to hold up under the pressure of my 5,000 square feet cabinet. So I'm going to go with the red oak. For Those are both red oak. Dang it. What I like to do to kind of see which stain is my favorite is give it a little wick. Mmm, that one tastes good. Mmm. That one doesn't taste so good. So I'm gonna go with this one. Um, that's my favorite tasting thing. That's actually how I make all <laughs> of my stain decisions. So bad. <laughs> that's how I make all my stain decisions. It's just with a little lick. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out of here. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. <laughs> Should we start doing that? Probably anybody that's watching by that point has already liked and subscribed. And hit What's that say? If you're still watching now, have you already liked, subscribed? Do you even need to say that? What I hey, mean? mom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, mom. Hey, family. Hey, neighbors. Hey, church. Friends. Hello, camera two. That's a wrap. DIY wife. Cut. Now we gotta go finish filming next week's video. That's right. Let's do it. <laughs>